Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. But in today's episode, we're going to show off some viewer knives. Haven't done this in a while, so I figured I'd go into the archives, find all the emails that people have sent me, well, not all of them, but as many as I could, and show you guys what some of my viewers were working on. So take a look. And remember, these are from varying... Um, experience some really junior makers some more experienced makers so take a look and uh, remember if you want to see your knife on viewer knives send me an email tyrellknifeworks at gmail.com there's links down in the description you can always find it on my website let's go take a look we'll kick off this video from a knife from noah jacobs he didn't send me much information about himself but his knives speak for themselves beautiful lines beautiful hormone on this one great job noah This next one is from Adrian Guimaro. He's from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and he's been bladesmithing since 2019. This blade is 180 layer Damascus cladding, copper, 15 and 20, and a 1070 core. Up next is this integral bolster sax. This one's Damascus of 1095, 15 and 20, and L6 on the edge, and it's stacked so it's cross grain. Great job, Kevin, I love it. Here's a couple pieces from Chris Weller. I love the handle on this first one. It looks like some raindrop and ladder Damascus, and then on to a sword. This next one's from Dan Descala. It's some random pattern Damascus and a beautiful Amboina burl handle. It's got a brass guard and a mosaic pin. Next up are these two from Mark Bishop. These were his 13th and 14th knives. He sent these to me last year. Uh, really nice work. Really clean lines and uh, I like the file work. Good job, Mark. Here's a Turkish Twist Damascus Hunter from Jeremy Morasso. The Turkish Twist is a pattern I need to do again. He also did this big cleaver, which looks really cool. These next four are from Elias Kramer. He is a 16 year old from Austria. Check out these knives. Check out these knives from Ranjit. These two are integral bolsters. Just beautiful lines on these guys. The next one is an integral bolster chef knife. Beautiful work. These two knives are from Seth. The first one is definitely K-Bar inspired with some uh, random pattern Damascus. And the next one is a fighter of sorts also in Damascus. Great job. Tyler Richard sent me these two. First this utility knife and then he moved on to a sword. Looks kind of like a gladius. Hey folks, want to take a pause here and talk about our sponsor, Maritime Knife Supply. If you're a knife maker, they have everything you need, from steel all the way to hydraulic presses and everything in between. They're up in Canada, but you can shop in U.S. prices and pay in U.S. dollars, and they'll ship it anywhere in the U.S. or elsewhere. So go take a look at Maritime Knife Supply. The link's down in the description. Check out this Kumai Chef Knife. This maker didn't actually give me their name, but he's a high school counselor in Montana and he's been bladesmithing part-time for about four years. This knife comes from Barry Hammond, AKA Bald Man Knives. Barry did a great job on this sub hilt fighter. Jim Patterson sent in this Hunter uh, it's Kumai, and I just love the handle material on this one. Beautiful. Mark Anderson sent in pictures of this Kumai Hunter. Uh, looks great with a sheath. The only issue is the Broncos logo. <laughs> just kidding, Mark. Up 
I just love seeing young makers take up the craft. This is from Orlando in Scotland. He's 16 years old. He did a great job on this Kumai dagger. This is a really cool ladder pattern Damascus knife. The maker didn't provide their name, only that they were from my Chinese audience, so I appreciate you. This twisted Damascus knife was sent in by Jake Cook. It's got some beautiful lines on it, and the custom file work on the spine really sets it off. These knives were recently submitted by Raymond Dennis in Australia. Some really nice work. I love this Kumai fighter. Good job. This Turkish twist chef knife is also amazing. And to wrap up, a couple of weeks ago, Marlon Kirby sent pictures of his katana. Pretty similar to the one I just released. So looks really good, Marlon. I hope everyone enjoyed these viewer knives as much as I did. Remember, if you got pictures of your knives, send them in. Maybe you'll see them next time on Viewer Knives. Thanks, folks. We'll see you on the next one.